Let's talk about pressure this weekend. That's a big thing in people's lives on a daily basis. In 3 John, verse 11, it says, My dear friend, do not follow what is bad. Follow what is good. One of the things that can help you to follow in a good life is when you have peer pressure that is positive instead of negative. Now, we've all had peer pressure where we've been with the mob and gone the wrong way. And that can lead to all sorts of trouble that can take us months or even years to get out of. John MacArthur once said, I have found that the closer I am to godly people around me, the easier it is for me to live a righteous life because they hold me accountable. Well, our world is filled with pressure, some good and some bad. The pressures we feel to follow God's will and obey God's commandments are positive pressures. God places them deep inside of us, and God intends for us to live in the highest way spiritually that we can, and that is in accordance with God's leading. But there are also different pressures that we face in life, from being a little child to being an old man or an old woman, and they lead us away often from God's path for our lives. These we must be aware of and stay away from. Sometimes society applies strong negative pressures on us to do one thing or another. And that's when we need to turn to caring friends that really care for us. And friends that are a positive influence in our lives. The same with family members to support and then also, most important, up at the very top, to turn to God daily. God molds each one of us into new beings, new creations, higher than we have ever been thus far, and creations that are strong enough not to be, as it says in the Bible, conformed to this world. By following God's path and resisting society's negative influences, we will please God and we will also be pleased. We will like ourselves. God bless you.